<laughs> Look how big this sweet potato is. Bro, th these are on more steroids than I am. There's right no. <laughs> are you on steroids? Yo, I'm ready to have just like a, a killer ass day. I'm ready to smash chest. I, I uh, did my good morning, so I feel good. I'm actually eating my Icon meals, little protein cookie before I work out. Oh my gosh. Look at the day. It's beautiful outside. The birds are chirping. The people are roaring. I'm excited. Now before I get started, I do wanna say this. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing like a killer killer chest workout, but um, I was talking to one of my influencers this morning and That person I'm not gonna name who it is he or she but they deleted a post that was going to go viral and They deleted the post because of the hate because of what people were saying and I see this time and time again is uh, Influencers are afraid to be themselves. You're afraid to be themselves I was afraid to be myself a long long time ago fucking curse whatever it was and because I was afraid, because of other people being afraid to post on a certain level, they really restrict how much they can actually grow. How can you say, hey, be yourself and do all these different things on other posts, but when you are 100% finally yourself, you cut it short or you cut it off or you take it down. The post literally had like 100,000 views in one hour. So when we look at it from this perspective, where do you believe is the problem? Do you believe the problem is in the hate? Or do, you the, do you believe the problem is in the security of the individual, the confidence? And I'm always, I'm always the challenger of this with anybody that I work with, anyone that I, that I put all my eggs in one basket with, anything, anybody that I trust, anybody that I, that I push really, really hard or I mentor, I challenge them with this because it is your, your choice to show up. Not anyone else's. The hate, the comments, the messages, anything, doesn't matter. What matters is your mentality behind it. Do you stand behind it? Do you think some of these political people that they go on, they talk about, I believe in this, I believe in that. They know they're going to get so much hate, but they still move on. Now, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying the politics. I'm not going to bring that into this, but it's just an example. Set yourself apart by being you. And as simple as that, create you. Let's jump in the chest workout. Let's ride. So I'm gonna be starting off with a single arm incline press. As I've told you, I need to build the upper chest and my anterior delts a little bit more. So key with this movement is obviously to keep your core tight because you're gonna be working with all of your obliques like a lot, a lot, a lot, all that stabilization, right? And so when I'm on stage, that's one of the main points for me is having my obliques in check. So quick warm up. The way you really wanna set up your position, all points, five points of contact, right? Come here, come here. And with our shoulders, the way it's gonna be is one shoulder is gonna be a little bit off of it, but you're gonna still retract it. So it's almost like you're cupping the bench right behind here, okay? And your feet are gonna be on the ground here, and it's just gonna be up like this. Making sure that you're not flaring out your elbow too far and not too close to your side. Simply like this. And that's it. Doing a superset, doing this superset where if you actually use, use a leg press, at that time it is six reps um, with 45s. It's extremely, extremely tough. Really works your delts like crazy, but also that upper chest. So I'm resting about a minute and a half in between 85s on the incline, 10 reps, single arm to that. It's freaking brutal. And I'm telling you, if you do it right with zero rest and following rest times, 10 seconds makes a huge difference. So instead of 90 seconds, or instead of 100 seconds, 90 seconds, which is a minute and a half, like 
night and day. So instead of you're talking, instead of you bullshitting yourself, if you're in there to work, you're in there for results, stick to this, stick to the time. I'm gonna be doing some overhead press on the Smith machine. The reason why I like this movement so much is because it's so controlled. Like the entire bar path, super, super controlled. And then I'm actually gonna be supersetting this with most likely a posterior delt movement. Because remember, even with an overhead press, you are working your posterior delts a little bit. Not as much as, let's say, like posterior delt raises or something like that. So um, I'm actually gonna do something on the cable. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm not gonna have a grip or anything. I'm not gonna have a handle. I'm just gonna grab the actual ball itself, the little y yellow ball. Grab it, and I'm gonna do right here, like horizontal pulls. Okay. Let's fucking get it, mate. Sometimes you just, you find ways, depending on your knowledge of the body, human body, obviously, but hand placement. So you can either go overhand, pronated grip here, and it's actually gonna hit maybe, when you're in this position, not as much as your chest, actually a lot more of your shoulder because of where the angle is, right? So the further away from the body, the actual rope is, the cable. So let's say it's out here, like the rope, you gotta think about the, the path. It's gonna be like this, right? So, wider, here. This, now you can come from this position, from under you, right? This can go from under you. So when you come up, you get a lot more of a squeeze, and what do you call it? I'm going blank right now, but okay. engagement, there we go, engagement on that chest muscle. So, check this out. So, here, instead of here, my chest isn't even, you can, you can see the difference. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Now watch here. See the difference? It's the little things. It's the fucking little things. The little things. When you activate, so when you activate a muscle before you go to the next set, so like a superset, a lot of the times what you wanna do is, I was trying to say it, but I couldn't get it out of my mouth, right? You do one movement a little lighter. You activate the muscle. The muscle fibers are firing, right? Then immediately, while the energy is there, it's almost like a plyo superset in a way. While the energy is there, you have within 10 seconds, eight to 10 seconds, you get to that next, set or that neck exercise with the same muscle group but a little different variation so much more effective so much more effective try it out yourself that's it that's a wrap so, upper body, obviously, sorry for the running on the, on the treadmill. She's getting after it. Um, <laughs> the way I'm feeling right now, I had a 400 carb day uh, yesterday. So I'm feeling really, really good. Uh, I feel like I have just have, have a lot of energy. I'm down to 200 carbs today, 200 carbs uh, each day until next Tuesday. So um, let's get down to the wire. I say the wire because I've been already freaking dieting for, what was it, like eight weeks? So, um, it's coming sooner than later. I'll tell you that much, it's like what, 86 days or, so, or 85 days or something like that. But as you can see, my physique's really, really coming in and everything is just feeling precise. I weighed in at 194.2 this morning, which means carb cycling's working 100%. I've been drinking about a gallon and a half to two gallons every single day, getting my sodium in, 
um, eating very good foods, clean foods, but also at the same time, not eating clean foods. I'm eating things that I wanna eat. Like I ate a whole bagel yesterday. Cool. And then I ate a half a bagel after that. <laughs> bagel and half. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Um, we'd love to answer them in videos, whatever, but let's get on with this day. Oh yeah, cardio. I do cardio, it's the last day of cardio. So um, three times per week, I'm doing five rounds as hard as I can go, stair stepper, and then go into low intensity, steady state um, on the stair stepper about 20 minutes. Let's roll. We have some good old bison. Oh, shoot, six ounces of bison. Yeah, six ounces. I believe it's six ounces. Six ounces of bison, um, four ounces of white potatoes right here, and then some broccoli. And all I'm gonna do, all I'm gonna do is add some salt to this bad boy. A little wee bit of salt. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. There you go, add some, some uh, crushed red pepper. Always got to, oh shoot, that's a lot. Um, and then a little bit of basil. And then it's time to eat. So I'm not gonna lie, the 200 carb thing is freaking tough. I'm not used to it. I love carbs, I love rice, I love pasta, I love bread. Anyways, yeah, it's tough. Second meal, or third meal, it's two o'clock. Really, really simple. These, these little crackers right here, very low in carbs. Look at these. So, um, 60 calories, 12 grams of carbs for four crisp breads. So I'm having four of these, and I'm having about 19 grams of this nutso stuff, which in total is like nine grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, six grams of protein. So a nice little meal to have in the middle of the day. Cool. I'm on my way to pick up the stickers for Chase McNary. So all these different influencers for Create Your Nutrition. And oh, by the way, that was a quick transition to this. But <laughs> anyways, Chase McNary, what we're doing with all of the influencers is kind of customizing every single label so that people, they're following, feels a part of the business. They feel a part of, of everything that we're creating and what they're creating. So um, let, me, let me just show you kind of what it looks like. I think I showed you, maybe I didn't show you. Check this out. Okay. Give me a drum hand over here somewhere. Let's find you. Are the greens done yet? Uh, they're, they're working on them. I think they're, uh, they were on the cutter earlier today, so they're... Where do you guys... Oh, they're back there. They just haven't been laminated yet. That's I don't fun. know if it matters. Sweet. You could lay them out flat for you. If that no, that's out. fine, man. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. They're looking really good. Sweet. So we actually have like pounds and pounds of <laughs> this stuff. I'm talking like pounds, like it's food, but look at all these. So this is the blue, and this, this is Sculpt You and mine. And then we have Chase, who is launching with us on July 30th. And then we have all the other influencers. That When we launch all the other influencers, we bought thousands and thousands and thousands of more product. So that'll be round two. Round two is gonna be coming probably like September 10th. So we're gonna do a pre-order before that September 10th date where it's all shipped out. And yeah, we should be good to go. Now, uh, we're gonna probably have 20,000 stickers that are printed across all the influencers. Probably like 2,500 per influencer. Some. Influencers might sell 4,000, uh, others might sell 1,000, some might sell 500, 100, whatever. It's all spread out, it's all different, but I mean, you get the point of it. We're really just trying to be unique, be different, and also give the influencer a feel, a taste of what it's like to own a company. 
And that's what we're doing. Another meal. We got salmon and broccoli. He's got some chicken, the big old Tay Tay Tay. What's that good? So how many days out? How many days out? Today is 22, 22 days out. Guam Tropical Dive Station. You've been to Guam? A couple times, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Nah, I'm just kidding. Lying ass. <laughs> big ass freaking, look at these sweet potatoes though. Like dude, give me your head. What's up? Look how big this sweet potato is. Bro, these are all more steroids than I am. There's right no, <laughs> are you on steroids? Huh? Are you on steroids? Ex exposed. Taylor? Nah, really. Are you really? Nah, natty for life. What are your thoughts on steroids? Would you ever take it? Take anything? Would I ever take anything? No. Why not? Uh, I, I, I honestly think. Too much of a. Yeah. I just pussy can... cat? Huh? No pun intended. <laughs> nah, man. Just not not for me. I just, I like doing the whole natty thing. It's. Come on, man. I do. I, I struggle with Come on, my, man. Let's do it. I struggle taking my creatine. Let's do it, man. My creatine. For you too, dude. <laughs> Come on, dude. We're both getting on. We're both getting take on the mango. Stack. Take the mango steroids right there. Yeah. We'll just get on a stack real quick and just, yeah, for a couple months. Stack of fucking Oreos. Just, yeah, that too. Oh, what, what's the number one food you want right now? Dude, I could crush a buffalo chicken pizza. <laughs> You've been crush. talking about that for weeks. Dude, it's, it's gonna come. Oh, Covered in ranch shit. or something, dude, just get wild with it. Dude, dude, fuck, man. I'm gonna try and get my refeed from when I get back mm. so that we can eat a buffalo fucking. What's your, what are you gonna eat on your refeed? A buffalo chicken pizza oh, chicken. from Domino's. Just, just two, we'll do a little like Lady oh. on the Tramp date, something like that. <laughs> okay. I'm about to go to a concert. Who are we going to see? Khaled? Uh, Khalid. Khalid. Why, why don't they just call him Khaled? Because uh, there's already a DJ Khaled. So. True. Yeah. We're going to see Khalid. Before I go, I'm eating a good, good, good dinner. So we got a bagel. We have zucchini and yellow squash. And then we have bison. I uh, got a lot of stuff done today. It's a Friday, so I'm um, not gonna do something too crazy. Man, this prep is just making me exhausted. Like I only have 200 carbs a day, so the fucking struggle is real, that's for sure. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in for another episode. This is fun. I was able to show you a little bit more about my, my uh, chest workout, my upper body workout. Took you around a little bit for, for my day. I did do other things, but um, I wasn't able to bring my camera. <laughs> I uh, can't bring you everywhere. I can't keep bringing you in the shitter. I used to bring you in the shitter. I used to, uh, yeah, take massive shits with you there. But mm, I think that's a little bit inappropriate now. Uh, anyways, Great Nutrition, again, launched on July 30th. It's going to sell out pretty quickly. And then also my podcast, Tuesday and Friday. Make sure you check that out. Create you experience. Hashtag create you. Appreciate y'all. And I'll be talking about calisthenics here soon and uh, what happened to the brand. It's still there. Um, and how it's doing and all those fun nonsense bullshit shit talks that we used to have <laughs> anyways thanks for tuning in i'll see you next time peace